Over the years, there have been a lot of strange YouTubers, but I believe the most peculiar out of all of them is Marina Joyce, and today I'm going to be telling the tale of her very weird life. In 2012, a lot happened. Gangnam Style became the most popular video of all time, Grumpy Cat was the most commercialized meme to date, and Obama was re-elected President of the United States with many proclaiming that a Republican would never be elected again. Our story begins here because it's when the channel I Raindrops X started to take off, where a young girl named Marina started becoming popular as an internet personality. For quite some time, she ran a simple enough channel which acquired an impressive 1 million subscribers. But the mystery begins in 2016, when things started to get weird on her channel, and subscribers started to notice. In the months leading up to the controversy, Marina had already begun acting very strange. This was evident by her comment section, which was filled with fans set off by her new mannerisms. They stated that, in comparison to seven months ago, she now looked a lot skinnier and jumpier. Interestingly, in a comment chain from weeks before the controversy, she attempted to address the issue with fans. The conversation played out as follows. Is everything okay? I don't think so, she is pretty sick already. What's wrong with her? What do you mean by sick? If you compare her older videos to her newer ones, you'll see a huge change in her personality. She's either on drugs or is depressed. I think she does have depression and that's why she's taking drugs. Marina then replies to these comments with yes and an emoticon, shortly followed by no. This was very vague and unhelpful. The mystery would stay within her fanbase for months, until July 2nd, 2016, when Marina uploaded the video, Date Outfit Ideas. Currently sitting at over 43 million views, it would become the catalyst of the controversy. Now, based on the subject matter of the video, it doesn't seem like it's that out of the ordinary for her channel, but when you actually watch the video, it raises a lot of red flags. Marina seemed dazed and confused, often repeating herself and overall just acting very erratic. This behavior wasn't present in her earlier work, making it all the more confusing. Additionally, there were many other oddities in the video that seemed to imply some kind of malicious intent. For example, at 15 seconds in, somebody's finger can be seen to the left of the screen instructing her on where to go. This was suspicious because she usually didn't have anyone filming her. Why would she need to be directed like this? Next, she appears to make a look of fear and then smiles. Some speculate this cue was because someone off-screen had instructed her to do so. Even watching this video today, it's not hard to see why so many people were concerned. And those aren't even the most questionable clues. Visible bruises can be seen on her arm as well as her back. And perhaps most infamously, 13 seconds into the video, a faint help me can be heard in the background. Noticeable bruises and cries for help, it seemed like things were escalating very quickly behind the scenes. So after months of just sitting by and watching Marina completely change personalities, fans now felt the need to go out and speak about what could potentially be a dangerous situation. So they began sharing the video and others even attempted to contact local authorities. Unfortunately, it seemed as if the authorities weren't able to help. One commenter who spoke to police about the situation asked them to check in on her and provided an address she had written in a previous video. Unfortunately, police reported back that they didn't find her there. According to a state agent, she had moved out three months prior. As the video began to gain traction, Marina disabled ratings on all of her videos, but discussion continued elsewhere. There were now three main theories as to what could have been going on. The first was that she was dealing with a drug-related issue, be it addiction or withdrawals. In regards to the drug abuse theory, viewers found out that Marina was close friends with Alicia Rar. She was an open recreational drug user. With a bit more digging, they eventually found an image on Instagram which showed Marina and her friend at a rave together. Moving on, the second theory was that she was dealing with mental health issues that were not being properly treated. Finally, the third and most interesting theory is that she was being held hostage, either by a lone kidnapper or by terrorists. In the event of a hostage situation, many speculated that the kidnapper could have been her boyfriend. One example of this is a comment from July 24th, in which a YouTube commenter replies that she only began changing once she started dating that quote, really funky looking guy. 
There is nothing substantial to back this claim up, however. This controversy would come to a head on July 25th, when a document was posted to the website JustPace.it discussing the situation at length. Written anonymously, the author seems extremely fearful for Marina. It would become one of the most cited resources throughout the controversy, currently sitting at nearly 850,000 views. It details the author's own analysis of Marina's other videos, which seem to show even more concerning signs. The first was her video, Everyday Makeup Tutorial, where a gun can be visibly seen. Containers are also visible on her nightstand, which the author speculated could be some sort of medicine as well as other drugs. Later on, she reacts to a car by quickly shifting her eyes back and forth, and then talking faster. In the outro of the video, you can see just how much thinner she has become in a short amount of time. The next upload examined was her question and answer video where she again continues to talk in circles. The author notes that she also blinks a lot more than normal. The author believes that all this could be side effects of the drug called Speed. Marina then begins to enthusiastically discuss one of her favorite bands, before noticing something off screen and stopping. She then looks at the ground and the video jump cuts to the outro. I love them. What is your favorite band? Safety suit. I love safety suit. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. The author notes that the description of recent videos seem to have less information than her older uploads. They speculate this could be due to the kidnapper taking control of the channel, which could mean they're also the one replying to comments saying everything is okay. The author continues. I have the feeling, along with many other people, that someone is forcing Marina to make these videos. Most likely her boyfriend, but it is possible that she could have been kidnapped, or she's overdosing on drugs. Her eyes keep trailing off behind the camera, and her body language makes her seem incredibly uncomfortable, almost like she's repeating what someone else is doing. She can barely stand still, she's shaking, and her body appears stiff and wobbly. That day, Marina posted a comment in response to the growing concerns, stating simply, I don't know what to say. She then posted a tweet including the hashtag SaveMarinaJoyce, saying, This is very sweet guys, but I'm okay. Seriously. I love you all so much. This didn't suffice since they believe there was a strong chance she was under the control of a kidnapper. Once the document was released, Twitter erupted in support. July 26th and July 27th would become the peak of the controversy. People began using the hashtag SaveMarinaJoyce to both discuss the case and submit their own evidence. One conversation that was dug up and quickly submitted was a comment on Instagram from a user who supposedly had met her. He writes, I saw you at the sparring party on the weekend. We checked in on you a couple of times because some creepish looking guys had their arm around you. Strange we were on about seeing if we could find you. You seemed lovely. Didn't realize you are a big YouTuber slash Instagrammer. In an attempt to learn more about the bruises, armchair investigators deep-dived into Twitter and found tweets from years ago referencing eerily similar incidents. Apparently in 2014, Marina had posted photos of herself with bruises on her arm, stating that her life was in danger. These tweets have since been deleted. The fact that this is now a reoccurring issue made things only more unsettling. How long could she have been suffering in silence? Because a potential hostage scenario was quite honestly the most scandalous, this became the most popular narrative during the controversy. Almost every single supposed clue found by viewers was interpreted under this premise, despite the Just Paste document making it clear that it could have been something less sinister. For example, it was noted that if you zoom in extremely close to Marina's eye, you can see what appears to be the reflection of a man in a ski mask. Similarly, in a clip of Marina jumping to show viewers her socks, a rattling noise can be heard. Some interpreted this as proof she had literal chains around her feet. They felt the effort was a subtle nod to the viewers. What socks are you wearing? I'm wearing no socks. I am sockless. Wait, let me see if I can jump and show you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't jump and show you. I just tried really hard then, but... Unsurprisingly, users began scouring her other social media accounts, most notably her Instagram. In one case, they pointed to one of Marina's selfies where she vaguely appears to be crying. On the counter next to her were what looked to be condoms and a kettle. This led to even more theories. As noted before, even from the beginning, Marina had always been quick to respond to their concerns, and throughout this whole situation, she stayed pretty adamant that she was okay. 
but those invested in the story simply didn't believe her, because they weren't even sure if she had control over her own account anymore. And even if she did, if she weren't a hostage situation, it would have been too risky to say anything directly. So instead, they explored the idea that Marina had been giving them signals for help indirectly. Take for example one of her statements from the 26th where she wrote, I'm totally fine guys, I am feeling very good today and it's actually so heartwarming to see so many people care about me. Instead of just taking this at its face value, viewers began looking for coded messages, and then arbitrarily found the words, it's lie, laid out in the tweet vertically. In another tweet, she writes, hope everyone likes pancakes. It was pointed out that the first letter of each of these words spells out help. In many of Marina's photographs, she can be seen donning two blue glitter lines drawn on her cheek. While initially disregarded as a simple quirk, some interpreted this as another clue. A viral tweet paired an image of her makeup with this excerpt. A blue line can often mean a victim is crying for help from domestic violence, kidnap, and captivity. If it's two blue lines, that means the victim is in serious danger and is signaling for help. Interestingly enough, the actual source of this excerpt is difficult to track down. Searching for the direct quote only leads to a Wattpad story, which has since been deleted. However, we can view this page using the Google Cache feature. Whether or not this is the original source of the quote is up for debate, but coincidentally, it's italicized similar to the screenshot. In the context of the story, those two blue lines were said to be on the wrist, so you be the judge of how valid this assessment is to make. There were also numerous screen caps of tweets asking Marina to put a certain emoji or phrase in her bio to signal if she was in danger. They were then followed up with images showing that she had actually done their request. This was also done with her live streams afterwards. The validity of these are questionable, however, since they'd be easy to fake. But by far the most controversial speculation of the entire ordeal was the eventual suspicion of a terrorist attack. On July 26, Marina tweeted out, Meet me at Bethnal Green at 6.30am if you would like to join partying with me at that event. Bring a friend so you don't get lost. This was already well into the controversy, so even initially it was seen as suspicious. Almost too impromptu. So many speculated that it could have been a trap. Remember, no one even knew if she was running the account at this point, and even more damning was the fact that the shop in question wouldn't have been open at the proposed time. Bethnal Green opens at 9am at the earliest. A meetup at 6.30am was simply impossible. As viewers began researching the background of this shop, they found out that in 1943, 173 people had died at the location in a single incident. Sure, realistically this was unrelated, but at the time it came across as suspiciously coincidental. People were so paranoid that of course they began accusing this meetup as being a terrorist attack. Some even went as far as to attribute ISIS as being her kidnappers. Take for example this post from Instagram warning her fans about attending. It reads, The party Marina is supposedly a terrorist attack on London. Don't go, she's in California. Don't go, she doesn't have control over anything. Just don't go. The California claim is apparently due to Marina's IP being traced to California. Nowhere near the meetup location. Eventually, it was determined that this meetup wasn't actually an impromptu event and wasn't even going to occur until next week. However, this didn't stop people from continuously speculating. In one video where she discusses the meetup, her arms move in a way that somewhat resembles the sign don't go in sign language. Apparently, American Sign Language became another suspected method of secret communication, as this was also done in her Instagram page. In this photo where Marina can be seen hugging a tree, they claim that she's signing either the word violence or terrible. But this isn't even the most absurd supposed clue. The most crazy was from the video that started it all. Apparently some looked into the background of the date outfit ideas video and confused the blinds in her house for iron prison bars. This idea was mocked for how ridiculous it was, which considering all the other crazy conspiracies is quite sad. As if the clues based on reality weren't causing enough drama, the hashtag eventually became a breeding ground for trolls. Fake tweets, messages, and videos of Marina began circulating. One of the most successful examples of this was a supposed clip of Marina warning her fans not to come to her meetup. I'm hiding right now, don't call me. They took three people. It's a setup, don't call me. 
It's claimed that the video was a tweet that had been deleted quickly, however it's long since been debunked. And that was a video. Fake tweets are even easier to make. Some of the examples of this were phrases like, I need help, he is armed. Another one was, I am not okay. I have been abused for the past few months. I can't do the heart on my wrist. He will find out. Don't come to the party. Send help please. It's my boyfriend. He's taking over my account. The second tweet in particular was debunked because the message went 63 characters over the Twitter limit at the time. With all these hoaxes and leads that went nowhere, many were starting to lose hope that anything would be discovered about the situation. This was especially troubling for those that felt Marino was in serious danger. But soon we would get closer to the truth, and we'll learn more about that after a quick word from our sponsor. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. The possibilities that can be done with Squarespace are endless. You can turn your cool idea into a new website, showcase your work, blog or publish content, sell products and services of all kinds, and even promote your physical or online business. Whether you're a writer, singer, plumber, dentist, or even a YouTuber like myself, having a website is useful. With Squarespace's beautiful templates that are easy to set up, you can have a great looking page ready in no time. If you do have a problem, however, there's no need to worry since they have 24-7 award-winning customer support. A new feature that might be very helpful to you are Squarespace email campaigns. Their all-in-one platform makes it easy to unify your brand voice with fully customizable emails that let you keep your clients and customers informed. So head on over to squarespace.com mysteries for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mysteries to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A link will also be provided in the description down below. On July 26, 2016, after months of speculation, the Enfield MPS figured out where Miss Joyce was currently living. Since so many requests were coming in, the police department tweeted out that they had visited Marina, and that she was safe and doing well. It's worth noting that throughout this entire situation, her friends consistently stated that Marina was okay and was simply dealing with personal issues. However, upon official confirmation that everything was alright, the vast majority finally stopped pressuring them. News outlets began picking up the story and eventually Save Marina Joyce became one of the most recent cases of online mass hysteria. Marina came out of this ordeal with an additional 700,000 subscribers. However, with all that being said, past the conspiratorial mob investigation, what really did happen to influence her personality shift? Firstly, it's safe to say that we can fully rule out the possibility of a hostage situation. Not only did the police already check in on her, but the fact that all her family and friends are opposed to this theory is enough to completely discredit the notion. There'd simply be no reason to continue this facade, but if that's the case, how do we explain all the other clues that seem to be pointed in that direction, like the bruises or the directing of the videos? Well, to put it simply, they were debunked. In an interview with Marina's mother Cheryl, she explained that the bruises weren't due to domestic abuse. They were because Marina was clumsy and fell over in the park. Marina elaborates on this story herself in an interview with Philip DeFranco. The bruises that people keep pointing out, where are they from? Um, I went to the forest once and then like I stacked over something and I got really badly bruised and I bruised quite easily but like um, I had quite a fall and it wasn't very good so yeah because I like to go adventuring in the park and do stuff like that um, I ended up falling over and I tend to do like <laughs> well yeah basically that ended up happening and then it gave me a load of bruises and um, then yeah I just ended up having all these bruises, and that's the reason why everyone said save Marina Joyce. So that's how this happened, really. As for the help me whisper, that was apparently not even Marina speaking, but her mother. Marina had apparently asked her to hold the camera, and during filming, her mother would help instruct her. She whispered, stand like me, which was later misinterpreted as a cry for help. As for the rifle scene in her room, Marina said that that was simply a BB gun. This leaves us with two theories, that it was either a mental health issue or a drug issue. While there's no hard evidence for either of these, with some light searching you can find testimonials from supposed friends, claiming that she has a serious drug problem. Marina refutes this in her interview with Philip DeFranco, but some online choose not to take her word at face value. 
Her official explanation for this personality shift, however, was religion. Six months, uh, a lot of people pointing out from around four months ago, it, it, it's, it's kind of changed to the most recent uh, video, which seemed uh, like complete opposite of you. Um, I think it's because I became Christian and because I had like this whole spiritual quest in my life. But like, I'm a Buddhist now, but um, basically I had this Christian in life and it scared people off. And because of that, um, people sort of thought that I changed. So there you have the story of Marina Joyce, and just to be clear, no one is 100% sure what the truth is. Some think her story was legitimate, others think that it was a mental breakdown, and a lot of others think it was a drug addiction. On top of this, I've seen a lot of other people claim that this was all just a publicity stunt, although that doesn't make much sense to me considering her channel isn't doing the best right now. So I guess it's up to you to decide. And until next time, thanks for watching.